So let's look at uploading files. Now as I mentioned that there is a file super global. So I'm going to go ahead and output that here as a second array so that I can see what's being submitted. So we'll go back to the form and upload something. Let's go ahead and fill this out so that when we hit submit we'll actually see that second array which is right here. So you see all of our other information is being submitted via the <coughs> post or request and then we have the separate files array it's using picture because that's the name of our file down here or of our uh, input type and then we have several bits of information in this subarray that are being submitted so name of course is the original name of the file that was being uploaded type is the type it's the MIME type of the file being uploaded temp name is where the file is temporarily being stored on the server right now since we haven't actually done anything with it it's just stored in a secure area and then the error code we get zero because it uploaded fine but there could be other error codes telling you that it's a partial upload or that you can't write to the temp folder or something like that and you'd see an error code there for that and then size is the number of bytes in the file so let's actually do something with it. Let's try to save it somewhere. You know, we have a temp file, but it's not useful yet. So let's save it to somewhere on the server. Move uploaded file is a built-in function that does this for us. And it accepts two arguments. And the first argument is the name of the, or the location of the temporary file. So I'd come in and say files picture temp name and that would give us of course the temp name variable right here and then wherever I wanted to save it to so I've already got an images folder I want to save it to and I could say give it my own name or I could come in and say okay I want to keep the original name and so I could come and say files picture and name. So now when I save it it's going to or when I run this and I'm just going to refresh it because we've already submitted and you don't see any output but if we switch over here to images which is where we want it to save we see that it saved it as rex.jpg right there. So that's the basics of uploading files if as you notice that we have this MIME type here and we can use that to check that they upload the right type of file if we're expecting a PDF or you know a JPEG or a PNG or something like that we can check but we can't always rely on it as being absolutely correct because that could be spoofed so we want to sometimes you know before we just do a direct move upload files we want to check and make sure that it's the type of file that we wanted that it came through okay and handle that. So we'd come in and say one way that we can check that the file type is correct is we can use another built-in PHP function called file type. And so we're not relying on what the browser is sending us. Just create a variable and then I'll save some typing here. undo that. Actually I'd want to do use the name. Now we used move upload a file by itself but it actually returns a value if we want to take advantage of that. So we could put this um, it's going to return true or false depending on whether it successfully moved the file or not. So we can use that by we could put it in an if statement if we wanted to. We could say if move uploaded file else do something else. So in this case we could actually come in and say echo move successfully.
and do something like that. So now if we were to go back and re-upload re it, we'll see that file type actually failed. But down here we'll see moved successfully. So that means our file did upload. Let's try this. I may have misspoken on that. Yes, okay, so it's actually temp name is what we're looking for. And so that gives us a very easy way to say, okay, if it uploaded and test for it and do things appropriately, we might retry it, we might send an error to the user and let them know it's the wrong file type, whatever the case may be, we can, we now know what's going on.